Hey y'all. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go through another Bee Gees one, another disco one. I love their disco stuff. Uh, this one's easy really and, and very typical uh, of Barry's playing. Just one chord shape. And it's just a question of where it gets moved. It's that uh, the E and the A strings aren't in it. Uh, so you do wherever the fret is, and you can just watch by eyeballing it. Uh, all the, the D, B, and E in the same fret, and G one behind it. So even if you can't follow, if you can't follow by what fret it is, you can certainly sound it out just by moving that shape around and uh, memorizing the order of it. But this one's actually pretty simple.
move that little shape around. And if you think, you know, in the event of something happening to me, you know, all of the songs are the same major minor. They only had two. Well, there, there's a few more. I, should, I shouldn't say that. But most, almost all, he only had two chord shapes. He had the one where it's all, all on the same fret, and this other one where he didn't play the E and A strings and moved the G string one behind the other ones, while those three are on the same fret, to make it minor. And that really opens the door to the whole Bee Gees catalog, once you get the open D and those two chord shapes. I mean, he had other shapes that he used occasionally. Occasionally. Uh, but not very often. <laughs> so uh, experiment with open D and those chord shapes, even the old acoustic ones, I started a joke, all those words, those ones, they're all the same tuning and same shapes. Good luck.